so Bugsy, what else did you find? Well, I tried to put in Alex, and all we got was flannel. So that uh, that tip we got uh, probably less than to nothing. The fact that Alex, is, the fact that they said Alex is a turtle was kind of weird, though. So I don't know. Maybe someone made that up. True, but uh, did look at the transcripts of Bill's therapism session. Really think he cared about Ford. You know, I don't know, Yonk. I, I think, I think on some level, maybe. But then again, let's be honest. Bill's too in love with himself to really, to really consider that he might love anyone else. Let alone Ford. And even if he did, he would never admit it to himself. He'd never admit that he actually needs people. He'd never admit that he's actually a person who needs people. Not for his little plans, just to take to hoist him up. Because Bill and all his musings and all his little showdowns with movies with rap battle with rap battles and shit. He hides. He runs. He sees me doing everything I'm doing, and he get, and he wonders, like, why, why is he, why are we, why are we the same? But I veered, I veered off, and he he veered one way, I veered another. We were a lot alike. Both had chips on our shoulders. Both had egos. Both wanted to show how cool we were. But unlike him, who destroyed his whole entire race, I didn't. So I never developed that kind of shame and self-hatred that he did. I mean, I had self-hatred for other things, but that's beside the point. But what I, what I can gather is that, yeah, Bill's just a sad friend. All his musings, for all his power, the thing is, a a triangle haunted by his own past, but doesn't want to, but is so traumatized by that simple thing that he did that you don't know much about. When I looked at the whole, when I looked at the thing where it's like, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why did you do it? It's like it's repeating over and over again. But it's repeating for us because we're looking. But I think for Bill, it's a constant loop in his head. I don't know whether he loved his parents or his parents loved him because there's been conflicting information. But then again, I can never really take, you can't really take Bill at his word, now can we? I mean, you can't. You are right about that. See, and that's what I'm saying. We can't really take the we can't take the fucking triangle on his word. His word, his word is as good as mud. Mulch, even. Mulch, mulch. You mean just mulch? Even when we rap, even when I was rap battling him the other night. He's, he's losing. You see how hard he's been, you know, listen to the song. He's been doubling down for, a, he was doubling down for a lot of it. He's won, because he wants to have purpose. Longing for a purpose. Wanting somebody to be by his side. But never understanding what he really needs to do to achieve that. Because the bill, everything is just one big party. But the one thing he can't escape is himself. 
So, there it is. I mean, it's not really a psychoanalyzation, and we still got more stuff to look at. And that Bill Beast that Robbie and his little friend found is still kind of eluding me. I don't know if that's Bill or not. But for right now, there's a lot of things we do know, and there's a lot of things we don't know. So we're going to focus on what we do know and catalog the stuff we don't know. Mm -hmm. It seems... Mm. That seems to be the case. Okay, the, the lies are lies part. So does that mean Ford has a link to the spare prism or is this Bill just leading us on a wild goose chase? You know? But I feel, I feel wherever this leads us, I don't feel like we're gonna, I don't feel like it's gonna be open and shut. Not yet, at least. Hmm. So what, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking, we're gonna, we're gonna have a little, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of our uh, men, a little bit of our men in uh, Oregon for a while, because yeah, we won't be able to be everywhere, but we got a few of our, we got a few of our men stationed in Oregon, Oregon. So who knows? Hmm. What about the Stan's head thing? Are you ever gonna do? Are you gonna do something about that? Well, well, I've been mon. Well, I have a few of our people monitoring Stan and Ford for right now. Nothing really conclusive yet, but I gotta make sure that Bill doesn't have. That Bill does not have any way, any alternate ways of coming back. And whatever the Bill Beast is, that's we're dubbing it, I gotta check for myself and see if Because we got the we got the DNA and stuff from it. But nothing conclusive was said. Nothing conclusive was even really set in stone. So that's what I'm really kind of sitting here pondering while I've been I've been just doing my own thing. Um, what do you make of it? I make of, I think, I think Bill, I think what you said to Bill is accurate, but I feel like there's something else we're not getting. I feel like there's something else that, that is literally staring us in the face, but we're not seeing it. I don't know why I got that feeling, but it feels like there's something, there's a piece to this puzzle. We're not entirely getting our understanding right now. Hmm. Well, we kind of, other than the stand and stuff, and the fact that it's like Bill is somehow using some sort of white magic to fuck with Stan, thinking that probably that'd be his other way out. But I think we're for, I think Ford probably is I think Ford's probably gonna find out, hey, maybe you should put the plate in your head stand so that way Bill can't like fuck with your mind. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know, man. Well Well we're the Mill Man Institute. We'll keep our eyes open as long as we can. I'm a little worried about you. Why does Bill keep targeting me? Because he's curious about me. For a being with so much power, I, he muses, why am I on the side of good? Why am I not for him? Why am I not? Why am I, why am I in his mind, the good one? 
Boy, is he the dick now for the burger. It's just something he can't grasp or doesn't want to grasp. That's all. And when I got his book, when I got to read his book, what it said was, oh, it's you. Like, a bunch of times on a bunch of different pages. <laughs> Damn. So he hates you. He hates me for what I am, for what I actually represent. He could be just like me if he actually tried. But you rather, you rather, you rather think of these little nickel and dime plans to get himself out of therapy rather than actually come to terms with what actually is happening. And you know he's just gonna get reincarnated as a bug or something. You'd be at the long like, nah, I ain't reincarnating you as a human. Fucking out of your mind. What about the other one? Yeah, that was a girl from another universe. The one that made the song. Yeah, that was a girl from another universe. But it was, it was a different girl that knew me. So, I don't know. Maybe that could be another timeline. Because when the time baby got destroyed, time got fractured. So, there's a big ass hole somewhere in time. You haven't patched it up? I can't patch the time baby's holes. I may be a god of time. I may be a god of time. You know, but there are just some things that even I can't do. Even with the powers, even with the powers I possess. The time baby's time magic and my time magic are two different things. Things that do the same thing. But two different things that can't really work. It's like when you put a triple A battery in a double A battery kind of thing. And in all sense, it should work, but the wattage is different. So the frequency of the time baby's magic, uh, time baby's time powers, and my magic are two different things. They serve the same purpose, but they are under two different wavelengths. So there's not really much I can do there. So the universe being a hologram? Eh, can't really get in. I mean, you don't got clearance for that. Really? I need clearance for that? Uh, just don't worry about it. What a bills of many, many, many lives. That is somewhat partially. What was that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. But, you know, I, I just say don't worry about it, dude. Just, yeah, just, just don't worry about it. So, what now? We need to keep looking at the passwords, see if anything comes up, and if it does, we'll, we'll talk about it. The field agents found not a lot of conclusive shit. But, um, there's still monsters running amok. The hench maniacs are still around, but they're not really doing anything. Huh. That's weird. I know. That's what I said. But we'll worry about it. We'll worry about that bridge when we come across it. For now... For now, I got some filing to do. Hoo -hoo. It is kind of boring, but but I still got to do it because we don't got a fucking filer in our freaking group. Hoo -hoo. Alphabet got to do it alphabetical order. You know I got to do it alphabetical order. The most tiring way to file anything. Yes. Jesus, you want some help with that? Yes, please. For the love of God, yes, please. <laughs>